In the wake of KDF advances in Somalia, police are on high alert over the possibility of retaliatory attacks by fleeing Al-Shabaab members and their sympathizers. These are just some of the pictures of the enhanced security surveillance as the police step up their vigilance. The cities of Mombasa and Nairobi, which have in the recent past been attacked by people believed to be Al-Shabaab or their sympathizers, are among the areas where police are leaving nothing to chance. In a period of less than a year, there have been about six grenade and improvised explosives attacks in Nairobi. At least two in Mombasa and many more in Garissa, all believed to have been executed by the Al-Shabaab. Remember that they have been rooted in Kismayu and they are continuing to lose ground and generally an injured animal is considered more aggressive. The increased surveillance has already started bearing fruit. Police who were manning a roadblock between Mwingi and Pika towns along the Garissa Nairobi Highway last night intercepted this 60-seater bus around Matu area in Machakos County. The bus with 60 passengers on board was traveling to Nairobi from Liboi town. And after a thorough search, they came across these two bags which were suspiciously hidden. Inside them were two bombs. Police na tube ya gari na kulikuwa na remote kwa karatasi ya paper pack ile imekuwa hapo ndani tukajaribu kuangalia tukaona hii tuka suspect ama tulitania kuwa hii ni kitu ambaye ni very dangerous bomb experts and anti terror police who were called in say the twin bomb had already been assembled and the only thing remaining was connecting and detonating them the devices were neatly wrapped in a black polythene bag. Bomb experts say the twin bomb is one of the most powerful improvised explosive device. Among those in police custody in connection with the nabbed deadly device are two Kenyans and six Somalian nationals. The suspects have since been handed over to the anti-terror police for further interrogation. Police are now cautioning travelers to be extra vigilant when boarding buses, especially those districts bordering Somalia. Violet Atindo for Citizen Weekend.